Wow, I can't believe my mom left us alone at the mall for two whole hours while she gets her hair done. I feel free, free, free. Yeah, Susan, your mom is really cool. My mom would never let me loose in the mall like this. Well, Alice, my mom trusts me. She knows that I know the difference between right and wrong. She says the more I show her I'm trustworthy, the more freedom I have. Will you two stop wasting all your time yapping? Let's get moving and check this place out. Yeah, I'm ready. My sister said they've got an awesome must store here, and I want to go over there and check it out. Aren't you guys forgetting something? Buying CDs and playing video games costs money, and that's one thing we don't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot to set free in the mall with no money. What a drive. Come on, guys, cheer up. My mom gave me 10 bucks so we could all get some ice cream or something. Let's head over that way. Well, it's not a CD, but I really could go for a scoop of chocolate chip. Wait, right? what's that on the floor by that trash bag? It looks like a wallet, right? Go check it out. Look, you guys, and it's packed full of money. Quick, Rick, hide it. Can you believe this? What a dream come true. Now we have all the money we need. Shh. Let's go spend it quick before someone sees us. The music store is right over there. Hey, wait a minute, you guys. That money isn't ours. We can't just go spend it. I think we should turn it. Are you crazy, Susan? Imagine what we could do with this money. Just think of the stuff we could buy. Yes, I can imagine that, Rick. But can you imagine how the person who lost the wallet feels? And can you imagine how guilty we will feel if we take what's not ours? If we lost our money, we would want to the finder to give it back, wouldn't we? Susan is right, you guys. Her mom trusted us to be responsible on our own today, and that's what we better do. If you think about it, it's just like stealing if we keep it. The right thing is give the money back no matter who lost it and no matter how much it is. Well, deep down, I know you're right, Alice. I guess this is what they mean at school when they talk about trustworthiness. Goodbye, video games. Goodbye, new CDs. Goodbye, pizza and ice cream. Hello, trustworthiness. Let's just turn it into the security guard over there. He'll know what to do with it. Excuse us, sir. We found this wallet over there by the trash can, and we'd like to turn it hey, in. Hey, thanks for being so honest. I'll turn it into the lost and found office right away. Hold it right there, everyone. I'm Maria Chavez from Channel 7 News, and we've been videotaping this whole thing. We planted that wallet as a trustworthiness test. I'm happy to say that you kids passed the test, and I'm personally very happy to see kids your age who are trustworthy. It make me feel much better about kids today. Watch the Channel 7 News tonight because you all be on it. Do you mind if I ask you what motivated you to turn in the money? Well, at first I have to admit, some of us were really tempted to spend it, but Susan reminded us about trustworthiness and doing the right thing. That's right, Mrs. Chavez. We're sure glad Susan is our friend. That would have really looked bad if we tried to run off with the money. Miss Chavez, Suna has a cool mom who trusted us to be on our own on the mall today. I'm sure... Gl Glad we showed her and all our moms that we deserve to be trusted. Can we wait to our parents? Hi, Mom! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! But don't forget, show people they can trust you. You'll be happier, and so will they. Show them you know the character counts. It counts at home, at school, and even at the mall. 